guys, first things first. Cheers. Cheers. We're trying these little. Cheers, guys. Cheers. You tell Greetings, them. Internet. Do you want to tell them mm. what it is? I don't think anyone cares. Mm. All in one go. Shot. I don't go. Oh, well. Wow. <laughs> Ooh, that was a popper. It's sour. When's the sour? Oh, your, shit, your, your shit's all blue, bro. Oh, you're all green. Yeah. You're all red. Hey, it matches my shirt. I'm green with jealousy. <laughs> <laughs> my tongue's already Tell red. Tell me what else is new. <laughs> oh, those are pretty good. Okay, today we're reviewing the Nun 2. Not the first one, the second. Not the first Nun, the second Nun. Okay, so we have a little bit of a pattern here where we watched a sequel to a movie without seeing the first one. Actually, I did I did see the first one, but I fell asleep to it. Uh, I have too. Oh, it was that good, was it? it I was, have not seen the first I one. I tried watching it twice. I've seen the first one. <laughs> yeah. I, I couldn't tell you. I remember there was a field... That, and there was like a, a little girl in the field. I don't. That's all I got from the the nun one. Not even close. Whatever. It's the same thing. Anyway, so we saw the nun two, two. right? And uh, yes, two. Peace. Um. And yeah, what did you guys think of it? Um. I I gotta admit, I kind of felt the first one was a lot better than this cur uh, the sequel. And mostly because the first one, it it just relied more on atmosphere than it than this one. This one just a little too much with the jump scares, and the jump scares were way easy to determine. Like once the sound cuts out completely, oh gee, I wonder what's going to happen here. Yeah, the, all the jump scare. There were a lot of jump scares, and they were yeah. all very predictable. Mm -hmm. Like very predictable, and it was all the thing is they didn't even try to set it up. It was just like they'd walk past. Uh, like the nun you would see the nun yeah and then they like turn around and then the nun would come out of the shadow yeah and then yeah <laughs> so, <laughs> so, 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 so okay so first half will be spoil spoiler free so no spoiler free. yeah we're trying to do it without spoiling. Second, and, then, and then we'll spoil that second half we make no promises yeah yeah, yeah. second half we'll, but we'll warn you so we'll yeah you. i mean i i thought it was okay um i didn't i don't know if i could say it without doing but i didn't care for the ending i'd say Okay. So it was good up until the ending for me. I kind of have to agree with you on that. I, I wasn't a fan of the ending. I just felt like, I don't know what they were trying to do, but I yeah. felt as though it was a bit lackluster. I feel like it was, it started off good. Started off good. In the middle, I wasn't really sure where, where it was going. And then I was like, oh yeah, I was really into it like three quarters of the way through. Yeah. And then, yeah, then like the ending... What? Yeah, didn't do it for me. But we'll get to the ending towards okay, the end. Okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but so the set up the tone. So where are we? In the where is it? So for France, right? Yeah, uh, France, 1956. That's the one thing I didn't. Uh, 57, was it? 56. But that's one thing. I, 1950. Uh, 56. They, they, yeah, they said sure? the title. That's yeah. one thing I didn't like too because they put it in the beginning. But they show the year, but. We could have all figured that out with all the cars and all that. I didn't need to put the year up there. I feel like because because like that, because it, that the, ruined the whole movie. Well, no, it didn't ruin. It, it sort of said like I thought it was gonna be like going back, showing a timepiece, and then going to our time. So it was sort of like at, and then there they it didn't really sh with the the costumes and all that. You couldn't really tell until middle of the movie that you're in the fifties. So it was sort of it was like. It sort of threw it to the whole movie off for me a little bit. Just the hour really? that one. Really? Yeah. That was confusing for you? For a little bit, yeah. Because uh -huh. that, the t like I said, I thought it was like, that was some of these horror movies start off where they always go back in time or show some spooky and then they go back to the, you know, I present think the day. First, I think the first one was set in 54 or like, it was set a couple years prior. I think yes, that's why. It, yeah, right? it was like, set a couple uh, years prior to it. Yeah. So that's kind of why they did it. They just. Well, was that the. Uh, so that's why they like, they just make the nun. This is like, it's like an origin story is what it is. Yeah. So the nun yes. is in the conjuring universe. Yeah. 
Mm -hmm. right? And the, because a lot of people, when the nun, like the nun was like one of the scares in The Conjuring, right? Yeah. And people, yeah. when that happened, people were like, oh my God, that when the nun came out, it freaked me out so much. And I remember it freaking the crap out of me yeah. and in The Conjuring. Yes. And then now it was just like, Oh, there is the nun again. Yeah, well, there she is. <laughs> it's, it's typical Hollywood when something is good in something, they got to oversell it and kill it. Yeah, and then they got to make movies of it, and then give it its own franchise, it, yeah. sell the plushies, yeah, <laughs> right. make money because people will go see it. And it's, I think it's it was, tiresome. That was kind of one of my problems. It with these movies is in the Conjuring, the original appearance of the nun was almost representative of. Uh, of now, I don't want to spoil that uh, that movie too much for one or three, but it wasn't. She was a representation, but at the same time, it was also a manifestation of the demon that they were facing at that time. But now we're basically being told throughout uh, the rest of the Conjuring universe, oh no, this nun, one demon. I'm like, how many fucking demons are there? But didn't he? But. They could take form, right? It, the, yeah. nun, it, the nun could take form into different things. Or that's more like a mental manipulation. That's more of a mental manipulation when you get right down to it. I mean, without, again, without spoiling anything, they yeah. do. As, oh, this would be a little difficult. <laughs> well, but, okay, as far as like the tone and the plot, the acting, let's talk about like the acting, the characters. So let's summarize that <laughs> you did such a good job last time. Roger. Well, you want me to summarize, <laughs> summarize, summarize it? Yeah. Go summarize, for it. Just yeah. Like it. If you were to explain the movie in one sentence or less, <laughs> how would you do it? All right. This movie basically was set in France, like I said, a timepiece. And uh, you, you basically see us, in, I guess, how do you say it? Like the, the school. I don't want to give too much away because I feel like. <sighs> I'm trying to summarize it. You need the whole plot of the whole damn. No, not yeah. summarize it. Explain like uh, like. Explain like, it without telling us anything. Yeah. Explain what okay. the movie is about. Okay. Basically, you you they're trying to find in a sentence not. or less. Two okay. sentences. We'll give you two sentences. Okay. Cool. Two short. So sentences. the movie is basically and the right. nun is trying to find the nun, <laughs> the spooky nun. <laughs> Basically, that's what it is. That actually sums it up. Yeah, kind of. but at the same time, that spoils everything. Well, no, it doesn't because no, the doesn't. good nun was yeah. in the first one, and she, yes. she you know, so yeah, the, the good nun is trying, trying to find the bad nun. Man, that's basically the way. That's a good. Yeah. That's a good summary yeah. right there. It's a good summary. Thank you. I appreciate it. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I think it is. It is important to oversimplify the plot because if yeah. you try to make it too complete, yeah, you know. Yeah. Even you can't explain what you know what the movie even yeah, is. Yeah, then we go and explain it more. I You're right. The catch of the audience. Yes. Become yeah. Good nun versus bad, bad nun. Dun, 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 dun. The trial begins. Nun <laughs> versus nun. The shootout. <laughs> none want to see it. None's the word. I think that was kind of the problem though about <laughs> nun two was in the in the first one that was the overarching point. Nun versus nun. And then you f uh, find out, oh, in the first one, not a nun, demon. But now it's like with the second one, we kind of don't have, we don't, or, it's still a demon, right? Yeah. Yes. yes. The problem is there's, there's nothing hidden. We, it's like the sequel, or sequel to Stephen King's It. It's like, you know it. Pennywise, you know it. it, you know how it works, you know, you know all that. You know so, how it works. Yeah. So exactly it is what, what it is. <laughs> what subtle, <laughs> what subtlety and what scares are there? It is, it is what, what it is. is. Hey oh Hey -o. <laughs> Shout out to Jeff. We we'll yeah. sent this video to him. Yeah, we should. We've lost. Oh, yeah, it's okay. Awesome. But you know what? Uh, but you know what I mean. It's like yes. with the sequel, we know it's about the nun. We, uh, but what we, 
don't know is what the what the point, point is. is like what's she doing here what's she after all that stuff yeah and that was kind of where i felt the subtleties of the movie was supposed to shine but a lot of it was just overshadowed completely with the the jump scares and them wanting like almost the complete degradation of the atmosphere that's a good way of putting it yeah because it was just one setup for one jump scare after the other after the other but we were in a theater that was pretty packed, I would yeah. say. Pretty yeah, it was, it was. Did you guys hear any screams? No. Did, you, yeah, see, I, did you hear anyone jump? No. Did you hear it, anyone? Honestly, I felt like, and then, yeah, basically, it felt like no one cared. Kind but of, yeah. When, even when it ended, it was like, no one really gave a crap. It's not even that we're in this day and age where it's like, oh, we've all seen so many horror films. We're so, like, desensitized and jaded by it. No, there's still plenty of good horror films out there that have even made me go, oh, what the hell? But with this movie, not once what the hell? did I ever, like, shudder or twitch. I just was like, jump scare. Yeah, right, okay. yeah, it was just like, we could see that coming from a mile, like, ten yeah. miles Ten away. miles away. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. There was, yeah, there was one... I mean, spoiler man. Spoiler. Yeah, yeah it's keep really it, keep it, keep it. But it's like you you would see the nun behind the person already. Oh, you just ruined the whole it's, plot. It's oh, yeah. certain parts, you know, you would already just know. And then also, like you said, like there, you don't know the nun's motivation. It was just like, okay, yeah, it, well, why it, is the nun here? Yeah, that's I did. So yeah, the nun's exactly. Here? I have, yeah, I was. I have no <laughs> clue what the story was about. Well, you, right. you did the whole movie. I had no what was going on. I just. <laughs> It felt as though, like, throughout the movie, they were trying to give these subtle hints, but they were so subtle to the point of non-existence, and yet, like, almost halfway through the movie, not even halfway through, almost two-thirds through the movie, they just give us this guy who tells us, oh, and by the way, I have yeah, the exact yeah, yeah, information yeah. you're yeah. after, and I'm like, okay? Yeah, yeah. it was kind of like, uh... We need to talk to this person, and then he's like, "Oh, this is what you need to do." And yeah. it's like, and it, like, and it was dang, so cliche was... too. The Catholic archives. Let's go to the Catholic archives. Yeah, it's like, like we're getting kind of into into oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Careful, bit, careful, bit, no, careful. Yeah, but okay, so there's a boarding. Yeah. Okay, well we can't say there's a boarding room, boarding school. Private yeah, boarding I guess, yeah room school with all nuns, mm -hmm. and then there's a daughter yeah. and. Uh, mom who's a teacher yes. and then there's the groundskeeper yes and his tomatoes Re the repairman and his tomatoes and the repairman okay what do you guys think of the repairman what was the name uh, uh actually i thought it was maurice maurice maurice, maurice. maurice. Like that song it was maurice. Maurice. Where? <laughs> no i i, I, I hate that song. he was I a decent song. actor in it i i he was believable yeah i, I, I think the acting was decent he was kind of like uh wasn't he kind of like a tom hardy type yes like thank you so little, was he little, 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 yeah he was yeah. like a tom he was charming, you know. Yeah. Like, you know, a French Tom Hardy. Yeah, a French Tom <laughs> yeah. Hardy. Yeah. yeah. Well, technically, he was supposed to be like Polish in a way. So, I just remember he, he, something about France. weren't they in France? The first one. That's what he said. Well, in the first, in the first one, Don't. no, they were they were not in France. Where were they? In the beginning of uh, of the none two, they were, but. Uh, Belgium, basically. Oh, um, Belgium. Yeah, bit. Okay, we'll fact check it. Yeah, yeah. What? We'll put that on. Really put that on there. <laughs> yeah, put that. <laughs> fact check. Put that shit on a shirt. Was it? Um, yeah. Um, but yeah, it was. He was decent, and then. By the way, guys, we're gonna open up a box later on, so oh, no. stay tuned. Watch the whole video, dude, and you'll find out what's in the and box. Talk. And so yeah, the the guy. I thought that he was a decent. I mean, the acting was okay. I didn't really. The acting yeah, was good. It was cheesy yeah. acting. It was, it was good acting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know. And uh, what's her name? Is it from the Narnia? The Chronicles of Narnia. The Chronic. The, the older of sister. Narnia. I don't know her, her name. Then I know the actress's name. Which? Right? Who was I that? never saw the modern. She was the older, the older sister. What, what did Chronicles. you never see? She's the modern take on Narnia. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's like, good. I thought he said the monocles of Narnia. <laughs> <laughs> the monocles of Narnia. The monocles of Narnia. Oh, wait. So the little girl that was in Narnia? She's that's the, the little she one. The she's mom? the older sister. The older sister is now the mom. Yes. Oh, yeah. my God. That's why I was making this joke. What? 
I thought, oh, I was wow. like, you know, jokes. Like, she was, because, she just got out of the wardrobe. Oh. <laughs> because I thought that, like, that one scene when he was, like, he came to the classroom. Yeah. I thought you said, oh, it looks like he's in a wardrobe. <laughs> no, I said, look, oh. she just came out of the wardrobe. <laughs> okay, that makes sense. And then I said, yeah. And Dude, I was like, oh, look, like, oh, she's looking for lying in the Dang, she was the mom and yeah, she's the that's mom. All old. But she, dang, what yeah. the heck? It's pretty cool, going yeah. On. Maybe what I was getting on? old, man. Damn. Damn. Old. Yeah, you're you're getting old. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, I think this is kind of the point of this movie just was not scary, was not chilling. But the fact that ninety percent of us watching the film was just us making jokes yeah. every <laughs> turn. <laughs> I know. And by the way, there's like a seven year old kid to the left of me. Like well, sitting next yeah, to Yeah, I was wondering about he, that. Like, I was like, kid was seven, maybe eight years old. Did you see that kid? No, yeah, I didn't. I did. Kid. He's like, you know, what's this kid doing watching this movie? Yeah. You know, great parenting. Uh, yeah, great. Well, parenting. I once saw the first Deadpool movie, and this couple brought their two four year olds to that movie. Just more Jeez, great. Deadpool, good. mind you. There's nudity Violence. in there, and I'm like, yeah. oh, I gotta learn it somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> At some time, yeah. it's like, boy, all right, son, you need to have the talk. But <laughs> I think because they, I, I wasn't the night. It seemed like it was PG thirteen. It, it was, was PG thirteen, but it was kind of. I mean, there were some pretty harsh. It was mostly rated R for the yeah. things for the blood and gore. There was a decent amount of blood. and smoking. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. smoking. The oh smoking yeah, nun. The smoking. That's kind of not really a spoiler. There's yeah, one yeah, nun that's, that's smoking. Yeah. Instead of the smoking gun, it's the smoking nun. And, 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 uh, we can't do that spoiler. We'll talk about spoilers. But Which, yeah. yeah, but she, like the conversation, and she's kind of like rolling her eyes. Oh, I became a nun. Oh. Yeah, yeah. But, well, then why are you a nun? Yeah. I know it well, almost. It was sort of. That conversation almost made it feel like they didn't have a choice on being here. Like, oh, we were set, uh, sent well, off she... because people told us we were to come here. It's like. Even even then, you you all had a choice, you know. You you could have just run away, done something else. Right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't know. It was interesting. And the uh, opening of the movie, I thought the I thought it opened up fairly strong. I thought it was a pretty strong opening. Yes. Yeah. For what it was. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty strong. Like opening. I said, it would. It was decent up until the indie. So, I mean, uh, and then you know the. But like you said, the plot line, I don't think there was a plot. Like, you don't know what the heck's going on to the whole movie. And then it, the ending sort of, it's just good. It's basically, it's just a good good way of looking at it. You know, it was like a movie you could watch but for entertainment purposes, but it's, if you're trying to... <laughs> oh, really? Is yeah. that what you but, can but, watch it for? But you know, oh, wow. no, you, it it first. Yeah. you can watch the movie for entertainment. <laughs> but I mean, don't, don't, look wow. at it, don't look at it for like a, a good plot and you, you're you just, you know, amazed about, you know, with the storytelling because it's the storytelling. I, it wasn't there. I think it's a movie that, yeah, you can kind of have on in the background and, yeah. you know, but, while you're cleaning or something. Yeah. Yeah, you know. it's a movie that's gonna pass the time. It can mildly entertain you if you're interested in the, the good acting, yeah, and maybe some good dramatic scenes. But overall, uh, yeah, the plot, the story of the movie, just it didn't hold that substance. We're getting yeah, dangerously yeah. close to some spoiler yeah, territory. Let's yeah, go. Yeah, this that's is going good. to spoilers. You guys want to go? Into yeah, spoilers. let's do it. Okay. So, oh, okay, okay, spoiler, okay guys. So, skip to this part of the video for what to see our review, what we thought of it. If you haven't seen it, don't want to hear the spoilers. Go to this part. Yes. Okay. Skip it. But if you don't care, which we might save you some it, time, skip maybe it. don't watch it if you want to save some money. Yeah. Uh, we'll talk into some spoilers. Yeah. So okay. Oh, Spoilers. This is good because this is a, the good. We, talk. Yeah, this we could not really get yeah, into. Yeah, because because yeah. it, it needs to be get into. This. Yeah, it does. It does. It does. It? The whole <laughs> Who do you want the whole plot of the movie. I have, I have to admit, like it w The movie starts out with just a priest and an altar boy. And before the internet starts wondering where this is going, not <laughs> there. That's the beginning of a joke. <laughs> a, a, a priest a, and an altar boy are in a church. Walk into a bar. Call the cops. Walk into the bar. 
<laughs> but no, it, it's, it actually starts out, like you said, it starts out pretty good. Yeah. It's just the priest, the altar boy, he goes down into the basement to go get some wine because they're getting ready to start their sermon. And service. Yeah. Which there is a sermon at the service, but. Yeah, and he does the whole like the little incense thing. All... And at first you're like, okay, what's, what's going to happen here? Once it ends, because that sets up the entire atmosphere, there's no conversation or anything, it sets up the atmosphere. Then the kid is down in the basement and creepy shit starts happening. Goes upstairs, tell the priest, and rather than him just go like, oh, these kids, he goes, Father, there's someone here. Where? Yeah. It's like he was expecting this, and that was a surprise to me. But as it goes on, the nun kills him, sets him ablaze almost immediately. And the, well, that was freaky because they went out, and then like the holy water dries up. That was something uh, I like that effect. Yeah, that was cool. It looked like it was a practical effect. It wasn't yeah. CGI. It's, it's a very easy practical effect to do. It doesn't. Uh, it doesn't take a lot. Which it was something I was very happy to see because too many of these movies they just try and like you could do a cheap practical effect. Now let's do an expensive CG because that's what the audience wants to <laughs> right. see. Yeah. But yeah, but but again, like yeah, the nun comes out of nowhere and then yeah. sets him ablaze. It was like, oh my gosh, like in church, like yeah, that was freaky. Yeah, that definitely. was a good opening yeah. scene. Yeah, great opening scene. Way to catch the and attention. It, and of course, it cuts right to the uh, the nuns uh, at a, at their local church in the middle of nowhere. All these nuns trying to push car out of the mud. <laughs> Which, yeah, if they had a right. man, they would have got it out quicker. Oh, oh, come on. Oh, I'm not saying it. Oh, wow. Point your anger right there. <laughs> come on, we got we got to start a little controversy. <laughs> Which, but, joking, way, ladies, the, joking, ladies. It is called the nun. It is called the nun, and there are overwhelmingly all nuns. There's yeah. there's like two yeah. priests in the whole movie, I think. Or there's like a cardinal. I forget what he, she said. She, she didn't say your excellency. She didn't say your excellency. She didn't say Bishop, I should know this. He was a cardinal. He was, he was, he was, it was a cardinal because they got the He was a cardinal. Yeah, yeah he yeah, was yeah. a cardinal. And so, yeah, he's like, well, you you, you got rid of her the first time, so you should come yeah. do it again. It's like, yeah. So the nun from the first movie is now in the... Which, by the way, I love how he's eating this, like, beautiful meal. Yeah. It's it's this amazing amazing meal. And there's people around him like, he's yeah. a king. Like, like, he's yeah, a king. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was like, what the heck is like, this? That's yeah. a little bit odd. Yeah. I understand, uh, like, <laughs> cardinals, bishops, they, they basically get some privileges being higher up in the food chain. Uh of their clergy, but at the same time, it's like, why is it in most of these movies, you always have the, like, the cardinal, the bishop, the excellency, they get all this wonderful food, long table, just the tiny you know, section, all this elegant shit, and I'm like, we saw them peeling potatoes, <laughs> not, but five minutes before, where in God's name did this food come from? And he's like, look how wonderful these grapes what are. What the fuck are they growing these grapes? I thought that Story that I'm telling is stupid. I was just like, <laughs> what story? Was what story? Oh, yeah. story? That's where they're so, peeling the potatoes. Yeah, with like, <laughs> oh, and then, yeah, I think, you they know, some nun comes and they, she slices her throat and then demon. Oh, yeah, that yeah. was horrible. <laughs> yeah, they, like, they like, go and they're like telling, they're like telling, <laughs> they're like telling like campfire yeah, stories about yeah. nuns. Hey, I tell you. He came up and slit the nun's <laughs> throat. And then, it was in broad daylight. The nun looked just like you. I was like, at We were half expecting, like, well, that it could oh, man, today's okay. sermon. May the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I said, like, I was, I was like, okay, okay, sister. Okay, sister. Like, it's a little bit early for wine. Right? You can tell her ghost stories a little bit later. Oh, man. Like, that, that was. That, that, like, that, that, really, that made like, me laugh. She was like, around a campfire. They're all camping. Yeah, 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 right. yeah. yeah, creepy campfire stories. Let me tell you, this ran. Sisters got yeah. around. Got and then the demon came, <laughs> slit her throat. <laughs> it was scary. Oh, <laughs> hey, you better watch out because the demon's right around any corner. <laughs> it was a little confusing because what she was describing was something that happened in the first <laughs> movie, and I'm like, "Are you the nun? How do you know what happened?" Yeah, yeah. She was like getting too much pleasure about telling the story. Like, she, like no one's asking her to tell the story too by the way exactly. she's just like yeah they're all peeling potatoes minding their own damn business <laughs> I have to expect to tell her like ghost stories about how nuns get brutally murdered I have expected <laughs> one to go I just asked her what time it was <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like, like sister please I, 
Oh, man. <laughs> How many more potatoes do we have to peel? I don't want to hear the story. I mean, well, why were some doing it with real knives and then some have potato peelers? Did you notice that? Oh, I didn't notice yeah, that. Yeah. I was just looking at her. She's like, oh, just she's extra <laughs> trapped. She's like, all right, like, sister, you want to just stick to like, hey, we have to eat Yeah, she really did this. Like, yeah. the game is sick to them. Well, <laughs> get a little nervous, like, and she slit her throat. <laughs> yeah, when you it was gushing out. It was gushing out. <laughs> all the nuns, all the nuns went to the convent, and they got picked off one by one by one. By <laughs> one. <laughs> and it was by a guy with a hockey mask. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, 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 yeah. And a hook for a head. And a hook for a head, and I tell you. <laughs> and that's why no one goes, uh, goes into the basement anymore. <laughs> by the way, can you finish us some more potatoes on top of the basement? <laughs> Not an unrelated note, but these potatoes aren't going to peel themselves. Come on, it's just... Oh, that was... Okay, so I think we can... <laughs> and then the good nun was sitting there, like... She's just sitting like, there listening. She's like, sitting there like, oh. Oh, eavesdropping. Like, was like she wasn't story. even supposed to be there. And she's just eavesdropping. <laughs> that was a, that's a great story. <laughs> I don't know about you. The dumbest scene. <laughs> it's the dumbest scene, but it's the funniest scene in the whole damn film. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh my God. gosh. Oh my gosh. There's some of it, right? No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's from that point on that it just goes into like small drama territory. Like they try and get away with like two to three jump scares, but they're so. So, or they're so easy to spot. <laughs> right, yeah. It's yeah. like, gee, I wonder where the evil jump scare could be. Is it the thing under the sheet that's shaped like a human? Oh, where'd the sound go? Dude, yeah. we're like, when the little girls, because there's like the troublemaker girls, yeah. right? And oh, they were yeah, all that... picking on the lead girl. And then they're like, at <laughs> least they go in through the lock. Like, and you're like, oh, great, great lock system that they have. Oh, yeah. Like the forbidden that. place. It's haunted by the devil. Yeah, and it's just like a normal padlock <laughs> with, with, with a chain. <laughs> yeah, you, push, you push it open. It's like, got this and this wide. Is. <laughs> the chain is only wide enough so that children can fit through. Yeah. Because so, we can't have an adult go in to save them now can we so they go through and then they all walk this way and then the little poor little girl at the end and there's like a person you could easily see a person like with a sheet yeah. over them yeah and then they do a close up of the sheet and the yeah. sheet's like you like yeah. you know it moves and it's yeah, like, like alright so you're just so are you so you're supposed on, to be scared by yeah, that yeah like that, that wasn't that's see, not... like you said the audience wasn't even there with, no we weren't even that. nervous nobody was <laughs> You can know who is talking, like, oh my god, something's just. No. It was just zombies. I felt like there were a bunch of zombies. Were just I, will, that movie. I will give some credit. They actually did have a good hint to oh, knows. something in, in the, the later ending season, scene. <laughs> wow. Sorry. Okay, okay buddy. Was like a a Rock Rock yeah, no, it's Bob Rocks. <laughs> Those rocks. So, <laughs> so the majority of the movie does take place at first in a church in France, but then it goes all the, all the way to this other boarding school for girls where I forget his name. I forget his name. Manuel or Manuel Marx? Uh, uh, not Marquise. Uh, Maurice. Maurice. Thank you. Maurice. God, I hate that song. Okay, the Joker. But yeah, yeah. But Maurice was, uh, is now a groundskeeper in the boarding school. Groundskeeper is Willie. Groundskeeper is Groundskeeper Maurice. <laughs> right? <laughs> okay, yeah. Just going to keep doing that throughout the every time I yeah, say yeah, Maurice. Right? <laughs> Maurice. <laughs> it's from a song. Okay. Yeah. All right. If, if you guys at home. They man. all know. We know. Yeah. They all got it. In the, bo in the boarding school, of course, Maurice has to. Uh, <laughs> Has to have a romance with the princess of Narnia and her daughter. Yeah. Yep. Whoa. And her daughter. Wow. Wow. Go, uh, okay. Uh, James. Uh, we're, we're getting close <laughs> to that kind of movie, but. <laughs> All right. But of course, it's like the girl, uh, the daughter is being bullied by these three girls because, of course, we have to have some bullies. Yeah. Yeah. Very cliche. But Very like, cliche. But they do something that I actually have to admit was a good, subtle nod to later on in the movie when they take uh, the daughter to, like, the quarantined off area. Like, no one's supposed to go in here because, like, 
the head, the headmistress, her son died in here during uh, the war. It's like, okay. It's like, yeah. <laughs> It's always that's during the war. It had back. been during the yeah. war. During the war. Yeah, but they take her, them to a stained glass window where on like one of the top sections there's a goat. And they say, if the sun hits it just right, the uh, sun beams through the goat's eye, it turns red. And they play a game that's just like... It's, it's a fun game. Yeah, it's just like it's <laughs> Dare with the Devil where it's like you have, to, uh, you have to look at the eye and if you look away, the devil gets you. It's like, okay... Because yeah. when everyone's a kid, they always have those fun games. But when you actually see, like, the red going through the eye, thing, think, okay, that's, that's an interesting stained glass window. But if you've actually gone to Italy and seen some of those stained glass windows, like, not too far off. Yeah. yeah. There but, wouldn't be, a like, a goat like that, though. I don't think I've seen any. Yeah. Uh, you know, no, no. They wouldn't have. I mean, obviously, it it's a strip. It depends strike. on what the stained glass window rep is representing. But it was kind of a cool thing. It's like, it's like, oh, the sun hits this certain yeah. point, point. It goes it through. through. Yeah. And yeah. later yeah. on in the film, that's, that's that very cool. Indiana Jones-ish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Right. Well, that's what which what, that's the thing. Like that's why it's something like Indiana Jones, and they're they're going after the Holy Grail. They, yeah. They're going after the Ark of the Covenant. Yeah. Like yeah. all these, like you know, like the like the Catholic but relics. Yeah. That helped them locate later on in the movie what they uh, what they were after, and it was a nice subtle nod that they told you about once. Uh -huh. They showed it in other scenes, but they never referenced it, so it gave the audience something later on where they're like, "Oh, I remember that." Oh, Something I did enjoy about that. Yeah, yeah and that was cool. Because then they're yeah. like, oh, it points to where we need to yeah, dig. And then they're exactly. like, dig, and they find it. But what I thought about where, um, the bullies, how, like, what I they, really like is like, gotta happen every I love it when the bully, so there's a little bit of pay ba payback. When the bully in the beginning, when she puts all the cockroaches in, in the woman's, yeah, uh, yeah, they the sister's all, uh, yeah. thing. They gotta go down to And the then they go back, like, after she died, and yeah. she's like, Haunting. Oh yeah, them. when the headmistress come comes back, back and then, it's like and then, a cooler. Yeah, her, her head sticks out, and there's all these cockroaches, and yeah. he, gets, oh, yeah. he gets those little girls back. Yeah, yeah. And then when they're like haunting him and the little girls, and the girls are getting thrown across, <laughs> yeah. like I was just like, yes, yes. <laughs> they were getting, they were getting some stuff. But they're bullies, guys. They had it coming yeah, to them. They're bullies. That's what I they, was the actually boys. surprised none of those girls got killed. I know. I was hoping yeah. that one of them would. Because like, in the geez. beginning, they, they were, for the movie, there's only two killings. Oh yeah, yeah, that, that was like way more than the first, yeah. the priest at the beginning, and the then... priest, and then the yeah. oh no, three, the priest and the old lady, and the priest, the old random girl, <laughs> yeah, the delivery girl, delivery girl, delivery girl which made no sense. The delivery like, girl, yeah, the delivery girl. Remember the, uh, what delivery girl? See, it made no sense in the movie. I was like, she was the girl who was basically the wagon filled with like the the jars of. Look, I'm not, uh, like olives and stuff, she's putting them on the shelf that she hears crackling because the more, guy's like, oh, 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 because Maurice is staring at Maurice is going, oh, 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 oh. Like, what's that? he doing? He's going, oh, oh, oh. Remember that? What do you know? He's making some uh, questionable sounds. <laughs> That's what he was doing. Oh, 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 oh. And I was like, what is going on? What is this scene? Did you see again? the nun's hand curl around the retone? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And you see the nuns in color on the door as this girl's watching and so go, oh, and like, you're interrupting me time. <laughs> I what don't the... remember that girl. Yeah, because it was so irrelevant. And, yeah. And that's, I think that's another thing. Oh, it. oh. It was so made those, it was like the boys were up there. She, I don't know what the hell she was. Wait, the Maurice, thing. wait, the little boy, there was another scene where the little boy goes down and Maurice is haunted. And then the nuns right behind him. And then he turns around. And then, I guess, was that a boy? I guess. No, we're talking about the girl. The delivery. That, there's a delivery person. Your thing. The young girl. The young girl boy. with the wagon. With the wagon. She's How getting, old? She's getting teased. Like a child. Yes. A child. Okay. Yeah. Because yeah. you said the woman, delivery woman. That's the delivery girl. Girl. Okay, girl. But she's like pulling a I wagon. I thought it was a boy. I thought, I don't know. It was. I thought it was a girl at first, but then it looked like a boy. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, know these days. 2023. Yeah, you know, these days. Know. Androgyny. <laughs> non-binary. <laughs> they, they, them. So, that was a they, them. Edit. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. No. Well, that, see, that was a weird thing because, yeah, they see them at the basement and then, like, she dies. But then, like, we see Maurice later and Maurice yeah. is, like, acting like 
nothing happened. Yeah. And then no one gave a shit about whoever just died. Yeah. They didn't even mention it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They didn't even mention it at all. They didn't mention it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. That's, like, yeah. That death didn't need to happen. It didn't even need to happen. Yeah, then they didn't even acknowledge it. Yeah, yeah, had exactly. no point of even being in the movie. We're like, wait, did that just happen? And then, like, Maury's acting like nothing happened. Yeah. Yeah, because according to him, nothing <clears throat> happened. Right. He's like, she, uh, you see her put jars up? She sees Maurice having <laughs> some him time. She gets killed because we can't let people know what Maurice does in his spare time. Maurice. Maurice. But that, I think that's what also why people were just zombies. And, like, <laughs> no one you cared about died in the movie. No. Yeah, that's true. So, I didn't even remember until you were until you. Like, said there's three the deaths, one. and then, like, even like the bullies didn't even die. Like, he, he, you know, the, he yeah. gets picked off. Well, the bullies to die in the night. movie. I was expecting them to be picked off one by one throughout the movie. Yeah, and it wasn't. It was just like even one of them so made the, the was dumbest the decision to the stick movie. their head in like that vent. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah who does? Like, like, say goodbye to her. Oh, 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 there's a monster thing coming out. I'm just gonna. Stick my head through this vent, dark vent thing, and go in the other room and check check it out. Make what, sure it's not. There. Wait, what about the woman? What about the woman that is going like after Maurice like turns around? He's like, ah. yeah. It's like, what's going on? He's like, oh, uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> hey, what are you doing over there, Maurice? Yeah. Like standing against the wall. Yeah. And then and then and then she's like. Um, yeah. No, then there's like creepy hears, noises. Yeah, going she hears on. the whispers. I don't know about you, but yeah, I know the opposite way. way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't go towards. Like, Dude, no, no. Yeah, I'm out. He's like, I'm, I'm out. And there was one that was supposed to be chained. So there like wasn't chains at all, or she no, went remember, through it, right? It was no, it, she it was unlocked it. Yeah, oh, she unlocked it. it. Oh, right, okay, I was okay. like, why is she she's unlocking hear, it? She's hearing her dead son. Oh yeah, that was her son. Mommy, I don't know about you, but. Even if I heard someone I knew who was oh, alive, it was, so, it was said, supposed to be her son. Oh, that's I right. didn't go on. Okay. So that was supposed to be the they son. Were... The altar. Oh, that's right, because they mentioned it, because he was an altar server. He was an altar boy. Yeah, right? they so they mentioned it. So I don't even remember that. They like mentioned it in passing. They're like, oh, he died in the war, and he was an altar server. Yeah, See, like, yeah. I, didn't, well, I didn't even know. That's that. and that's the thing is like it had no emotional impact yeah. because it was like because then I was like okay because why is there there's an altar boy with incense okay that's terrifying <laughs> like, the incense I'm always scared of the I can't is, stand that the incense only, I, I love turkey, we only saw the headmistress in like what three to four scenes yeah we tell me one thing you know about her other than being the headmistress of this boarding school having a dead kid and being <laughs> somewhat of a bitch well she got his, tell me something else she got killed by an incense. Thing. No, yeah, tell me something that doesn't thing. have to do about her dick. Fell on her head. That's what then too. Well, I think she got smacked a few <laughs> yeah. times by the. It was like. <laughs> <laughs> tell me something about her past. What her <laughs> likes, dislikes, something, anything. She, she like. She she like she's, no, she you can't. She's allergic to pine nuts. <laughs> Is that something you actually know, or are you just making shit up? <laughs> what do you think? She did like cockroaches in her room. Yeah, see? There yeah. you go. We know everything about her. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, well, that was the thing. That was the thing. It's like, yeah, you don't care about the head ma- headmistress. I like, have- you can't, like, I th- actually, you know what's so funny is that I thought that, like, the headmistress died, and then I was like, oh, yeah, that girl's mom is dead now. But it wasn't her mom. Yeah, yeah. It was the headmistress. Yeah. I thought it was like, I don't know. Like, they, oh, they're they're going to combine it. Yeah. yeah. So that, I don't know. That, and that's, and then you keep going further down this movie, right? Going yeah. to all that. And then um, <laughs> they go to the, uh, what is she finding? What is it? The little tower she ends up. Oh, yeah. The. I'm going to jump ahead, but. Yeah, yeah, yeah jump ahead. I'm going to grab a Kleenex. Keep, keep, keep oh, talking. Okay. So, like, I'm jumping a little ahead here, but towards the end of the movie, they go back to the tower. And the most ridiculous thing, when the girl's running for Maurice, they're just running around in circles. Did you see it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> they said they were just running around in the tower in a circle, like, three times. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, mean, I was like, this is the... They're just running in fucking circles? I was like, what? Yeah, you, well, you kept, you kept seeing the same hallway. You kept seeing the same, but like, that same room that they go by. Yeah. But you... Like, that, there's only three places in this whole... Yeah, but like, no, that is a good analogy for the majority <clears throat> of the entire story because all they're doing is going in circles. All they're doing is following where this nun has been up until they, up until the sister who's from the first movie realizes, 
wait, there was a handyman who was here when the priest basically got set ablaze? Like, oh yeah, and then she realizes, oh my god, it's Maurice! Where's Maurice? <laughs> well, <laughs> well, we need to find, uh, we need to find this one kid who he might know where Maurice was, but by the way, Jacques, Jacques, yeah, right? Which I, they're like, where is Jacques? Jacques? Which I love just the stupidity of that. They're like, the kid's name is Jacques. You're in France, 1950s. Of course you're going to find a Jacques. <laughs> just literally go into any street in France going, Jacques, watch 50 oh, hits turn. Speaking of that. That scene with the stupid magazine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's go to that scene. Yeah, so she sees Jacques, and then she so goes, she, she goes to the alleyway, and then like the kid's gone, all right? For context, then she sees a magazine There's stand. A, yeah, magazine. In the context, <laughs> she's trying to chase after a kid, but she's actually having like a vision. She goes into an alleyway. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah okay, hold on, hold on. All these she, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. One at a time. One at a time. So he goes in the alleyway, and she sees the magazine stand, and the magazines. Like, they see one. Like, oh. It flips. Ooh, something's gonna happen. Like yeah. some faces start to match up, but they like the magazine pages are flipping forever for, for days. Yeah. And like, James is like, how, how many pages are these magazines? Like, how many pages are is on this one magazine? And how is that scary? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, oh, the she magazine is flipped. Ooh. Ooh. She, <laughs> no, she a pretty like her one greatest fear: abstract art. <laughs> oh no! Yeah, it was like a Picasso thing of the nun. Yeah, finally, yeah, like you see the outline of the nun, but the problem is you can see the images on the magazine so freaking clearly that even though it's in the image of a nun, the face is like this like old man rock face. Like, now, it was the nun, but in a mountain rock. So yeah, so it was, it was like, like a... I'm sorry, how is how is this terrifying? And of course, you're just like, we got to get closer. Right, just to make sure that it looks like the nun. Yeah. But we know what jump scares come. And we know what the nun looks like. So they they did that yeah. so many times. They did that with the exactly. painting several times. They did it with the little girl when she goes in the hallway and then the nun's there. Oh yeah. And then, oh, and then, oh yeah. And then it turns. Yeah. It yeah. goes into the like wallpaper. Yeah, it goes, it goes the wallpaper. And the wallpaper is still that. there. It still looked like the nun on the wallpaper. So it was like this was like some of the that was one of the worst scares because it's like the girl sees the nun and it's just like hi. They're like hi. There's, there's no sound, there's no anything. It's a turn. And then he goes away. And yeah. away. the problem is, is like you said in the wallpaper, it was an almost perfect image like of this scary nun. And I'm just like, what are they fucking doing? Like, <laughs> the, the, uh, the indentation of the eyes, the nose, the creepy smile, all of it was... The wares of this wallpaper just did it perfectly. I'm like, you didn't need to fucking know this wallpaper would have been terrifying enough. I feel like no one would even go past the, that that side and be like, oh, that looks like that creepy ass nun. Like, you're like, shouldn't we paint this over? Shouldn't we do something? Like, yeah, it's like you'd think someone would see it. Like, and they and the girls have to go up these stairs in like, order. all the time. Yeah, yeah. They're in the classroom. No one saw this one. Like, no what? one sees this oh. creepy like ass nun. It's like, ah. Uh, Mr. Superior, can we uh, maybe do something about that? <laughs> yeah, I think it's looking at me. <laughs> I mean, oh, man, just... it, it makes little sense. The, well, like, yeah, the more we think about it, the more yeah, it's like... Yeah, it's, it's just crazy. It's just like, and then you go further down the, mo the movie, you go oh, down no. up the, uh, the rabbit hole, as they're saying, and uh, when they finally get to the boarding, uh, like where the boarding school he is. Well, oh. that, well, that's why I, mean, I did the spoiler in the review. The whole cliche of, like, oh, the Catholic, the Catholic archives. archives. Yeah. I was like, oh my God, could you, I, could you rip off freaking Da Vinci Code? Yeah, I was about to say <laughs> Da Vinci Code. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, well it's archives. always like, oh, we have to go to the library. Yeah. You know, <laughs> they go to the library. Oh, there's a hidden section of the library yeah. that's been sectioned, you know. That pissed whatever. me off so much <laughs> because it's like, well, we need to go to the archives. And I get it in re <laughs> We can go see Vatican <laughs> and then, and then yeah, the Vatican does yeah. have an archive, but when they go here, it they just happen to find the one priest right away. Just, finds like, it within within thirty seconds. Yeah. Give find, them the clue yeah. that says, "Oh, by the way, you're after the eyes of Saint Patricia." And it's like, what? <laughs> He's like, "By the way, have you ever thought that de this demon might be an angel?" And I'm like, "A fallen angel is the." De they're after the eyes of Saint Patrick. Wait, wait. Oh, by the way, I also researched it and narrowed the search down completely to this exact location. I'm like, so right, okay, yeah. Okay, okay. Like, why even go there? Anything like, else you want to tell us? The winning lotto numbers? <laughs> so I can use some of those. So hey, that's what frustrates me because it goes back to the like the title 
I don't know who directed it to. or edited it. But you know, at the beginning they said, blah, 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 1956, nothing else. And then all of a sudden it goes to the, they go to the Catholic Archives yeah. and they had a title. So it says, oh, the Catholic Archives. And that was the only two titles. Yeah. That was and I was like, hey, what the fuck are they putting that shit in? Right, right. yeah. You know what I mean? Like, no, we, we can no underst- relevance. We can understand all. that it's an exactly. archi- archives because yeah. you're showing this big ass building. Yes. Yeah. And well, then like they a, go in it. And then the next, so we'll know it's yeah. the Catholic archives. Well, then, that's the thing. It's like they talk to the first person. He's there. And it's like, oh, yeah, you don't need to do it. Oh, here's the book. By the way, yeah, this is where you need to go. By yeah. the way, the demon was a fallen <laughs> angel. Uh, he's looking for these fucking uh, eyes. Uh, and then the eyes are back yeah. where it By is. By the way, uh, I know a secret about you know, it's your mother. Here's the winning uh, lot of tickets. tickets. Yeah, right. Oh, Here's it. FYI, be careful of that curtain. Watch curve out for Mar- the trip. Yeah, watch out for Mari's. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, make sure you... T- By the way, we still have a box to open. Yes. Yeah. still have a box to open. But yeah, so I'm let's, gonna, uh, I want to... I want the end, so... Yeah, I do want to touch her on... Oh, we haven't even gotten to Super Nun yet. Oh, but- my God. <laughs> At the very end, when they all find, when the sister oh, you can still see it. Okay. When the sisters finally get there, actually, I do have to point out there was something that was kind of fucking funny, which was when one of the, uh, the girls. By the way, still don't know who any of these girls' names are. I only know about. Oh, yeah. Bullies, I only know Marty's. <laughs> and that's only because of that. But one of the girls, when they final, uh, when apparently. Like, the nun is vexing people down in the basement, but all of a sudden, there's, like, now another demon that's chasing these girls. I'm like, wait. The this goat? Is... Yeah. The goat. A goat oh, yeah, demon yeah. thing gets summoned. I'm like, that wait. was creepy. The, yeah, himself. That was legit. That bad man himself. They yeah, that was... Had that run around more off. Yeah. That, that was creepy. Me out. Yeah. That was actually that pretty was good. That was freaky. But goat, what I love is... The goat creep me out. <laughs> when you heard it, when you heard it, and one of the girls, like, Samantha, Samantha. Yeah. Go check it out. Yeah. But oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So it's like, bitch, you, what did you just say? <laughs> yeah. yeah. You yeah, check it out. Funny. And of course she's like, hey, the, about the audience. And she fucking does it. it. Yeah. Like, but that was the, the audience. That's the only time the audience made sounds because they laughed at her. Yeah. Oh, that was right. It, because that was pretty funny. You know? It's, it's like, like, no, you check, check it out. out. I don't want to check that it out. That was the only time the audience actually. Oh, reacted. yeah. Outside of us laughing at other shit. Yeah. Yeah, but that was see. That's the thing about this movie is that it didn't marinate in that suspense. It didn't yeah. really like. No, it, didn't. it didn't. It could have really, you know, like that's what Shyamalan does a lot really well. Yeah. Is that well, he lets it. He lets he it just. It yeah. He lets it marinate that's for what a bit. Do. Side do. Yeah, side's really good if you just stop. You know, if you stop for two seconds and then like just let it breathe. Like yes. you know, you see you know, what was like, that? And then you hear the hooves like clopping. Yeah, yeah. clop. Club, yeah, if club. that would have been and a... then looking at each other, then looking. At, I mean, yeah. like you could really build that up. If that would have been a thing in the very beginning. Like exactly. these girls wake up periodically, like throughout the movie in the night, because they keep hearing noises and this stuff. You never really hear it, but when they hear it again, you finally see what the goat you know, looks like. It's like okay, that would have been cool because they built up to it. The first movie of the Nun, it all took place in one location. It took place in, in the like, convent. Yeah. In basically an abandoned church. Oh yeah, yeah. Because and it was all about atmosphere. Mm-hmm. Whenever the sound cut out to do like a scare, it wasn't a complete jump scare. Because there were sounds of like people's feet walking, there was breathing, there was something to latch on to that you could focus on so the scare could get you more. But in this one, there was no atmosphere. There was no sound at all. So you had nothing to latch on to or focus on when the scare came because all you're doing is looking for the scare at that point. There's nothing to distract from it. Yeah, I mean, yeah, exactly. It, it stops. You know, there's music and then it builds and then it stops. And then it's like, okay, now we're waiting for the jump scare and then it happens and it's like, okay. And of course, at the very, uh, at the very, uh, very end when... None of the girls get killed. None, none, none of the girls. None of the girls. None of the girls. None. None of the girls. But none like, of the girls. <laughs> none. But yeah, the build up to Super Nun. Two. The build up to no, Super Nun. They finally find the eyes. They are trying to keep yeah. away from the nun. Okay. But the nun Which, gets the eyes yeah. anyway. So I thought that was weird. Okay. And so, levels up. So, okay. So she gets the eyes. She opens up the container. She sees the nu- eyes that are wrapped in the thing, right? Yeah. And then they close it up. 
And then it's like, and then the light was going through the thing. And then it was like, it was like piercing through him. But then he grabbed it. And then he, then they put the eyes on. Before that, it was made no sense too. So Sufi (laughs) grabs him and takes off running. And then later on, she's like, I have the eyes. I have the eyes. Remember? Right. Yeah. It was like, what? So she didn't even notice you took off with the eyes and ran like apparently this just, nun has no perception she yeah. had the eyes but then but then well she needed the, she needed the, need the eyes for the perception yeah. yeah no but but then like they get the eyes then then they're like oh no here's the eyes but it's really the amulet with the eyes are, no, are in the, it the eyes have uh because these are, these are the eyes of the saint they're like they have they're the growing the glowing glowing, glowing. glowing. Yeah. the eyes give off power so if the nun has it you use his power to defeat the nun but the nun gets the eyes absorbs the power and she becomes super nun <laughs> yeah i have no other way of explaining it she oh. literally grows gigantic Dude, when that happened i'm like i'm it. like yeah i, I see ya and see you later because like, i'm out it felt like it was just like okay an hour and a half okay we gotta end it Okay, let's just end it now. Yeah, so it was like there was no build. There wasn't even a build up to the ending. It was just like okay, it's Hindi, and then and then she's the nun and the good men's get caught up by her, and then there's a flashback of her mom, and then that stops her fire. No, yeah. like what the fuck? I was like, how how is that? Well, then then the yeah, mom the, the, way, the, the mom was like, uh, you have my eyes. Yeah, there was. I like, don't- that was so confusing. That was whole so ending was so fucking. But confusing. like, wait. So I she, no. My whole thing is like, wait. My whole thing is like, is she a descendant from that's the saint what, that has the eyes? That's is what that I was what thinking that because it was also in the archives, of course. Archives. archives. <laughs> <laughs> he basically stipulated. <laughs> <out. laughs> Why did I say his fucking name? Yeah, Maurice. Oh, shut up. Up. <laughs> oh my god, I hate this movie now so much. But yeah. back to the archives. Super nun. When her, they said like, well, the descendants of the son, her fam- of the saint, her family, like spread to the wind. So these people, all of the <laughs> Lord spread to the, the wind. Beast, what did you say? Were like s- spread to the wind. Like they what did sp- you just say? They spread. Uh, spread a cr- they spread out. Better legs. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Fucking heat has. Fucking heat. <laughs> what, 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 but they all scatter. So of course. You said spread the wind. <laughs> no, I break wind. Said spread it out. Scattered to the wind. She okay. Broke wind. Does, <laughs> she broke wind. She broke wind. <laughs> I'm never gonna be able to... The <laughs> wind and the willows in the, the chronicles of Narnia. We have so, so gotten off track. <laughs> Anyway, what were you saying, James? Yeah, well, James. Probably about Please super speak. Nun. <laughs> super nun. Oh, we're talking about super nun breaking wind at this point. That's what we're talking about. Super nun. The <laughs> ending. The ending felt so much like it belonged. It's like more Monster in and Shark Rally. It felt more like it was supposed to be an action thriller <laughs> than it belonged in this movie. Yeah, it it, it, it seemed yeah. like it was one of those. Yeah, because uh, it's like there's wine on the ground that. So, that's supposed to represent blood. There's also, well, yeah. She's making spikes come up. She's making people float. Yeah. Set them to on fire. It also is a superhero movie. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 like, yeah. It turned into a Marvel yeah, movie at the end. Uh, yeah. Like a CGI effect. <laughs> but like, I like the symbolism. So if you know, like she got the, the all the thorns, right? And the thorns were in a circle. And it was like yes. Jesus' crown. If you yeah. notice the symbolism in there. Yeah, yeah. And then there's like the wine like, that comes yeah, pouring the in. Cries, and then like, she goes into talking to the one nun that didn't really believe. She's like, oh, no, believe, pray with me and then they turn the body uh, they turn the wine they into the, the wine so bless the wine so it became the body yeah. of christ yeah. and that's what kills the super nun yeah because it explodes on her yeah but and yeah it's like it's almost like ass, you know man. i'd like to talk yeah. to well like a not like a not a not well i do know a I'm member thinking, of the clergy I, I do know yeah a member of the clergy i like to talk to some priests and uh deacons, there's an actual deacons about well, this because like what they think about something like this because yeah. it's they take it so far yeah, out it's, a, yeah. it's actually in like what they did is like pray with me sister there's an actual right to turn wine into the sacrament in mm-hmm. order to uh, yeah. use it for uh, and mass, or, right, do that mass yeah. yeah, it's you now it's not the same, but it is similar to uh, like the same process of making holy water. There's a specific rite that has to be said for it, and first off, they didn't even say it. Yeah. So the so what they were doing is basically like, let's put our hands in the wine and chant. Okay, I don't know about you, but that's not how it works. 
but it was so weird because like, like they, they did just what, wanted a what, what they I didn't see because it was all it was all nuns and then there weren't any priests and then there weren't because they could have used the holy water they could have had priests come in to bless the place they could have mm -hmm. priests come in because it was essentially an exorcism movie too yeah. it right? was yes but, yeah. but it wasn't but like without the actual exorcism you know yeah. what I mean it was like it was like oh wait we know this guy's possessed well anyway let's find the relic and yeah. let's yeah. you know like she knew that Maurice was possessed yeah. she knew that she was possessed like halfway through the movie and then when yeah. she came back she's like oh hey maurice like oh yeah. he's like oh stay away from the kids but then she didn't do anything else other than that yeah. right and then and then he turned on them but here's the after. really really awful part about the movie why was the nun after those eyes in the beginning for what underlining reason why? She was just creeping people out in the beginning, right? It was like, yeah. it was so weird. In was the like, yeah. first movie, it was the nun wanted out of this church that uh, that she was imprisoned in. Oh. But that was the point of the first movie. All of this, like all these members of the clergy were in this abandoned church. They were constantly praying and they were keeping this demon here. Well, the demon kills all of them, and but he needs a host in order to leave. Yeah. So it had to lure people in so we could get out. It's a simple tro it's a simple trope. I've seen it dozens of times, but it's still an effective one. Here, none's got a host. None's just going over the place or all over the place, killing descendants, looking for these eyes. Why? These eyes. Yes. To, no. No. Why? No. to level up. For what reason? <laughs> right. I, I yeah. Maurice. Well, yeah, because they didn't around. explain it. <laughs> Wasn't he the host? Well, he was. Yeah, he was. Yeah. He was and, and, well, it was great. It's like it's like they're like, oh, who was this? The, you know, there was a guy. It was a handyman. And then she's like, oh, a handyman. Yeah. And then I they're like, like, and I'm like, oh, that's this Maurice. And then they're like, Ringer. And then they're like, doing it. What do they call him? They call him Frenchie. Like, yeah, okay. yeah, no one yeah. called him Frenchie. Yeah, and she, no, she comes yeah, back, exactly. and then she's like, they, they "Then I'm like, it is Maurice, Maurice, the handyman." Like, yeah. you know. But then, like, so she knew, and then she's like, "Oh." He's like, oh, okay. another thing. She about, basically yeah. jumped to the conclusion. Oh, the nun's using him as, uh, as a host. Yeah. They're jumping from place to uh, place. She's looking for something. And when she, by the way, the vision she had that gave her the conclusion, the nun is after something. And when she's done with Maurice, she'll kill him. I got none of that from the vision. None of that. None. None. It was none. all I saw from the vision where she got that was magazines, <laughs> stupidity, Jacques kids and a, playing a, a, uh, soccer, football, football, alleyways, that's it. And I'm thinking, okay, you now know the and, nun is responsible and magazines have way too many pages in them. That, that's what I got out of it. But, <laughs> like infinite pages. Yeah. There. My <laughs> God. They were flipping for like, like, like minutes. All one way. It was like, wasn't going back and forth. It was like. <laughs> it wasn't even like a slow <laughs> and flip. Then, and then we like. It was like. Whee! And I don't even know what the faces were supposed to represent because they weren't even creepy looking faces. They were no. like little smiling faces. I think it was like, what was supposed it was like to art. represent a shadowy yeah. figure emerging, like going up? Because it started with just yeah, small, it looks like, like the nun. sections of faces. Yeah, but they didn't even. But those faces, like I was saying, those faces weren't even scary. They were like pleasant to look at. So it was just like, yeah. So it wasn't even <laughs> creepy. You didn't even creep up to be creepy. Not just that. The, the <laughs> outline of the nun stayed there for far too Which, long. Which, by the way, like they they used the creepy face of the nun far too much. They like. Wait. When, yeah, dude, much. they had so many close-ups yeah. of the nun, and then like especially towards the end, that they kept going like, hey, and then the nun was like, "Hey, like see my face? It's creepy." I didn't you know. I was and it becomes not nun. creepy. There's so much, so much. Yeah, there's no suspense behind it. It's just, like yeah, the nun's coming out of nowhere. I was expecting the nun to just ram a door with an axe, going, "Here's nunny." <laughs> it's like. Yeah, it became so. Yeah, then, then super nun, like okay, yeah. twenty foot nun. Yeah, it's a twenty foot nun wait, just wait, like. Start, stuff what, like is, what is going on? The conjuring to the freak. You're just hissing at Marvel. Marvel. <laughs> yeah, hee <laughs> like, hee. Great, you have all this power, but you're killing them one at a time with one little trick at she a time. She didn't kill anybody. No, yeah, she, didn't. no. she didn't kill anybody. She killed two, three people the whole movie. Okay, you just contradicted yourself. Well, I mean, compared to. Horror films, that's like nobody. You know what I mean? That's like. Well, there was somebody. The male yeah. woman was a somebody. Well, I mean, horror movies, you, you're, you're, you're expecting body counts. You know? Oh, what's your body count? <laughs> oh. That's the first yeah. question. Just kidding. Just kidding. When we go to the scenes, 
Lots Gonna cut that out. Okay. Yeah. Well, okay. Are we, but, are we done? Yeah. Good? yeah. yeah well, like, oh, no, no. Okay. One, one, one other thing. Last thing. Okay. One so last there was thing. a thing where, where they talk about the nun, how the, un, the nun owes Maurice... Uh, her life, right? Yeah. Like the oh, Maurice, oh, yes. and, right? Because and then, he uh, saved her in the first yeah, one. Okay, so he saved her in the first one, right? Yeah. And she goes, you know, and Maurice is a traveling handyman, yes. right? Yes. And they're like, oh, how are you? And he's like, he's like, he goes, he goes, oh, I'm Don't good. Talk. He's like, I'm good to go to Pol- to go to uh, Holland or something like that, or yeah, wherever. Holland, Hungary, Hungary, whatever. You you Hungary, I think it was. Somewhere in Europe. He's like, he's like, oh, I've got enough in my pocket to go to Hungary. I'm a, tra- I'm, a tra- I'm a traveling. Salesman. I'm a traveling sales. I'm a traveling maintenance janitor guy. <laughs> and she's like, oh, here we go. Here's some tomatoes for you to plant. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> thanks. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, I, was like, yeah, I just told you I'm a fucking traveling <laughs> handyman. You're giving me, making me start a garden? It's Bitch, a- I'm not going to be anywhere two weeks from now. <laughs> I'm not going to be anywhere for a month. I don't want to start a fucking garden. Oh, like, you know, wait for these plants to grow. What do you? What the hell kind of gift is this? Part of his character in the yeah. first. In, in, yeah, <laughs> I thought that was. You know, it was, was stupid. So no, first, it the scene. first film, you didn't know that in the in the first <laughs> film, <laughs> he had gotten to befriend her and told her that one of his dreams was to settle down and open his own farm, plant some crop. But, but he didn't say that in the second one. In the second one is like, he's, yeah. if he if he would have yeah, said he like, never did. if he would have said. Hey, I'm going to Hungary to start my farm, right? And yeah. then she's like, "Here, I got you something to start it out." Yeah. Like, okay, that yeah. would make sense. But Even he literally the... said, "Oh, I'm a, tr- I'm this traveling handyman." Yeah. Even in the... oh, here's a to start. Why don't you grow some roots, Maurice? <laughs> but here's the thing: even in the beginning of the film, when you saw Ma- uh, Maurice and the little girl was complimenting his green thumb, he could have just made a comment like, "Oh, she it's... complimented his green thumb." Yeah, his garden. When? His garden. When? In the uh, in the very be- uh, very beginning. Of the second uh, one or the first one? Second one. Okay, I don't remember, I don't remember that. Basically, he could have just made a comment about like, yeah, it, uh, it's no uh, farmers' fields, but it's something. It's like well, yeah, <laughs> it was. This, he, he this, it it wasn't connected guy. very well. It wasn't no, it at was all. Not, it wasn't at all. Not connected. That's kind of what the major problem with this film is. <laughs> to sum up, that's the major problem. <laughs> Not, not all the 50 other problems that we just listed. <laughs> Never mind the fact that it was more funny out of sheer circumstance oh, yeah. than it was. Let's talk about the, the uh, they're so, we go back to the circle, remember when they ran in circles? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was just the dumbest thing ever seen <laughs> in a movie. Oh my God, yes. They actually ran, they actually ran, showed them running around <laughs> in the tower, bell tower. She was escaping Maurice. What? And all she was, was doing, doing all they showed was she was actually running around and he was chasing her. Yeah. And it was for three times around and then she stopped. And I was this, like, what? what the hell did I just watch? <laughs> this is an incorporeal demon that has taken the guise of a nun in order to be blasphemous. Incorporeal. And yet this demon decides, you know what? I'm not going to stop and go that way to catch yeah, I'm not gonna <laughs> yeah. go They're still running the other way. <laughs> it's how circles work. Never mind, like, I have all these demon powers, I can eat everywhere at once, I can manifest goat monster. No, I'm gonna have the handyman chase this little girl in circles for a bit. No, so. I do, you know what I love? I love that they so they found so Maurice goes <laughs> off <laughs> <laughs> Maurice goes off the <laughs> rail. <laughs> Maurice goes on the rails. <laughs> you know who goes off of the grounds. Yes. <laughs> and they, <laughs> they tie him up. So they tie him up. They tie, they chain him up. They tie yeah. him up and they chain him up. And then they put a bag over his head. <laughs> <laughs> they look like Scarecrow. Yeah, they look like Batman Scarecrow. Have you seen Batman again? Yeah. Look like Scarecrow. <laughs> Yes, or no, he his hair the and then and then like okay, so okay, so he's chained up. He's chained up. Yeah, he's chained up. We wanted to nudge Durango. <laughs> no, you said that. You're like, oh, why yeah. did they put a bag over his head? Like, over his head. They so they cut away, and they're they're chasing the other demon around. Yeah, and then they just cut back, and then Maurice <laughs> is he's loose. He's just yeah. loose. Oh, he yeah. just got out. He just got out. Yeah. No problem. <laughs> No problems. Yeah. He didn't even cut the chain. <laughs> yeah, you know, you good. don't even see him use his demon powers to no, break he's free. He's, yeah. he's just, he's just, he's just you free. Know, what yeah. was the worst is part is the scene before that when they were signifying Maurice is going to get loose. 
It was quiet. He's sitting there and all of a sudden you hear, Wah! just this crow goes by the door. And I'm like, what the fuck was that? <laughs> and all Maurice, his head tilts up. <laughs> and I'm like, wait, were the crows signifying evil? Because I mean, they, when he's oh, in the garden. Oh, yeah. There was, was another the plot time where the crow. The crows were used when he's shooting them he away. He shoes them away. But that, that was that. Wait, wait, wait. There was a really weird scene. Hold on. There was a really weird scene. So okay. the, the, the mom. Okay. So the mom talks to Maurice. And then she comes back in. And then she's talking to the daughter. She's like, oh, were you spying on us? And then she yeah. said, the daughter was like, oh, you were laughing at whatever he's saying. Yeah. You know, and he, she's like, oh, you're, you're a bad girl or something like that. It was what? like really we a weird conversation. She's, she's like, you shouldn't be spying on other people. Yeah. And like, anyway, see you later. So she leaves. And then, the, and then the girl turns around and is like looking at Maurice. And, and Maurice is like. Bent down to the garden, like tending his garden, and then he's like shoes away the crow. And then he stops. He stops. Like, yeah, then, yeah, then, yeah. Then he stops in the corner. He yeah. like stops in the corner. Oh, yeah. and he's he goes, like. <laughs> By the way, other kids <laughs> yeah, and and mean. people walking around in that garden. Yeah, no one else knows. Like, what the hell is Maurice doing, staring at the wall again? It's like, like oh, it's not uh, hits. Oh, it looks like but, uh, it's two o'clock. Time for uh, for Maurice. Uh, time for him to do his jiggle session. <laughs> yeah. So it's like, it's like so Maurice, the janitor. Oh we gotta talk about this all. We can, man. We can. Yeah. So we can go to the review now. Okay, or? hold on. Yeah. Box oh, time. Open, What's open, in the box? Yeah, in the box. Yeah. Why? Wait why till the end for the box. Must wait till the end for the box. Okay. Wait till the end. We'll wait till the very end for the box. Be sure to do the review. Well, we give it okay, guys, it time time for us to give us our review <laughs> rating. <laughs> do I, are we going to do the, what did you do? Whatever you yeah. guys want to do, who, man. Who wants to start? You can start. You start it. Me start it? Yeah. You start it. All right. So the uh, review session, I, I have to ask, was this worth the price of admission? Was it entertaining? I'm going to have to say... Not particularly. I, I'd say it's been entertaining it, talking about it yes. afterwards. It was entertaining. It's, it was worth the matinee price. Yeah. The six seventy five or whatever it was. Yeah, yeah so yeah. It I would a, say. Yeah. It was no But not much more than that. Yeah. yeah. So bottom line, I'd have to say for me, the movie was entertaining, but not for the reasons you want the movie to be entertaining. So if I was to give it a rating, I would have to say it's worth the price of admission, but I'm not buying popcorn snacks or anything to keep me there. We had a lot of snacks, by the way. We, we, we always had a, snacks. Yeah. Snack and use. Well, snacks, or maybe you need the snacks to keep you going yeah. through the movie. Well, good something. Mo yeah. good movie yeah, something. is worth the price of admission, and you but, finished off the snacks. Out of five, snacks. what would you give it? If I was to give it an... And out of five, like, I've already said, like, worth the price of admission, entertaining, but that's as far as I'll go. So I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to give this movie, like, and I'm being generous here, so I'm going to have to give it, like, a 2.5. Ooh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So, that is, that is um, generous. Yeah. That's not Compare, too bad, not too harsh. Compared too... to the first one. Yeah. Which I would, I'd give that a three. This one's just, like, not, not, not as good. Okay. Well, uh, Roger. Uh, my review of the movie is short, so the acting's good. Yes. So that keeps you in the movie. And yes. It makes you hate the movie because the acting's actually good. And it wasn't boring. Was it, it, yeah. you say, it wasn't, no, would you say no, it's it boring? Annoying. No, yeah, it wasn't it's boring. Moments. Yeah. But it just, there's a lot of follows. There's a lot of things that don't make sense. <laughs> there's a lot of ending was well. just terrible. Ending was terrible. So, like, I give it a two. 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 Two, two out of five. Good. Yeah. What do you got? That's literally what I was going to give it. Two, two out of five. Two, two, two out of five. five. I was going to say 1.5 out of five, but I've seen... No, it's not that It's bad. not that yeah. bad. It's still watchable, and yeah. for us to get some kind of entertaining entertainment out of it. In case in point, half of this review has been us laughing hysterically <laughs> at just the humor that it out of body. Body. Yeah. It's not even intentional humor, and I think that's, <clears throat> that's one of the worst things is... Like if this movie didn't, if this movie actually tried to embrace some of the laughter, didn't take itself too seriously, then this would have been a great parody movie. 
Yeah, just, it was almost like, yeah, it, it was almost like <laughs> there was too many, too many ripe prime opportunities for It was ripe for, for parody. Yeah, because yeah. she's like, oh, the symbol looks very familiar. <laughs> like, yeah. you know, you can, there's some easy things you could, you could do there's there. Same, yeah, so yeah, definitely watchable, um, fun. Yeah, two, two out of five. Two out of five. I give it a two word. out of five as well. But you two said two and a half. You said two and a half out of five. Two and five. Yeah, you said two out. Uh, you said yeah. two and a half. You two point five out of five. Yeah. Okay. So that's I'm a, being right. not the worst movie in the world. Not the best. So not basically, the best. it's, it's not watchable. The worst. Watchable. I, on, on a Saturday afternoon, and go watch it. Yeah. Yeah. Please, yeah. Six watch it with friends. Yeah. So make you can make fun of it. Yeah. Yeah. Make fun of it. You won't regret that. <laughs> Don't take a girl out to go see. Yeah, because she won't be scared. The thing she is, she be won't scared, be scared. And then it, or you, or you could watch it and riff sort of on it. I mean, if yeah. she's the type That's to riff true. on movies. Yeah. But and if stuff. it's like a first date, no, no. Yeah, if you yeah, want her to be scared, yeah, watch you know, something else. She'll never call you back, guys. I should we <laughs> probably do some reviews about date night movies. Oh yeah, we Think should, shouldn't we? Yeah, now it gets to the point that the maid is absolutely been one. What's in the box? <laughs> Speaking of which, what's in the box? The moment we've all been waiting for. What is in the box? Our new segment called. What's, what's in, the, in box? the box? What's in the box? So it's right. Yes. What's in the box? Well, we're about we're about to find out. Yes. Do you see the box here? Yeah. Yeah. Do I have to hold it up here? You all there, bunny? No. It's just a box. It looks like he's struck. <sighs> box. We see that. Yeah. <laughs> what do you got? Paper, so <laughs> useful. More paper, even more useful. Wait, what? That's in that box. Oh, sure. Oh, that's your. Oh, yeah. Why do they always have to open? Smud. It? It's a smud oh, shirt. Yeah. <laughs> what? I forgot. I got that? so I signed up for some stupid. Uh, Why? If you shoot a text at the River Cats game, you get yeah. a smud shirt. Uh, so uh, that's what that is. So there's no, like nothing to do. Forget with smut. I, I, <laughs> you thought of something else? I thought I was, uh, yeah, because I got something else. Uh, In all honesty, guys, I thought that it was going to be more merchandise that I just bought. I just bought a bunch of samples to order. But we had our first one, obviously. As you can see in the video, we have the Hey Studios logo tee. If you guys want to represent the studio and wear a really cool t-shirt, you can grab that. Link in the description below. But we also have some awesome, amazing other designs. We've got the simp poster, like the one in the background, and we are coming out with new designs all the time. So I want that to be a, a very uh, cool experience for you guys. And we had our first merch sale from our new store. So thank you to who bought that. Thank you so much. They got a simp poster tee. So if you want to grab yours, support the channel. It helps us out big time. So grab that in the description below. If you want to watch these videos a day early, go to patreon.com slash Heyho Studios and check it out there. Thank you so much to Raichar Lisa, who is our first patron. So she is a trailblazer. She is awesome. She's incredible. She also has her own channel um, now. So yeah, thank you guys so much for tuning in and I will see you next time. Okay, bye. Yeah, anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you guys like this video, click a like on that button. Please subscribe for more. And what movie should we see next? Oh, by the way, you guys chose this movie. Yeah, and we did what you said. We did exactly what you so said. People vote. Which means we're gullible. <laughs> Which means we follow the subscribers yeah, wherever. To, exactly. Wherever you guys vote is where we will go to watch the movie so yes. stay tuned for next week and we will have another community post so be on the lookout for those community posts vote. vote on your favorite ones yeah whatever one you want us to talk about and to watch we will yes. we'll watch it we'll subject ourselves to absolute horror and humiliation just for your pure absolute entertainment well i don't know about that you're welcome yeah we'll see yeah, you we'll go see. a little too far buddy we'll, no, we'll, we'll see what we can and i believe you haven't gone far enough <laughs>